Now we have the third method that is our expenditure method. I told you, na, second method is the earning method, how we earn. This is how we dispose our income. So the third method is the expenditure method and in the beginning again you recall how, where we spend. Your parents are sending you here for classes. You spend your money on books, on school fee, on tuition fee and many more. So this is what we are spending on GDP at MP. So all components of expenditure method will give you the value of GDP at MP. Now how do we spend? Our third method is expenditure method. In expenditure method, we have private final consumption expenditure. It is the expenditure of households plus non-profit institutions. Then government final consumption expenditure, government is also spending on GDP like government purchase cement, raw material, everything. So government is producer also as well as consumer also. Then we have Gross domestic fixed capital formation. It means we are investing on fixed assets, building, plant, machinery, equipment, residential construction, purchase of uh, plot, land, anything. So this is fixed. If it is fixed, you have to take change in stock that is your inventory if you are holding or stocking any inventory that is also the part of capital formation so th both these together will give you the value of gross domestic capital formation gross investment or gross capital formation don't get confused simple hai agar fixed hai you have to take change in stock if there is no fix, it is inclusive of change in stock. We do spend, na? we have to have our expenditure on retaining stock of raw material, semi-finished good, livestock and at the last we have net exports. Net export is export minus import, very small method. So if we add all this, we will get the value of G, D, P at M, P because we all spend on GDP at M, P only. We will take an example of household. Household is consuming milk, purchasing bread, paying school fee, tuition fee. So we have government final consumption expenditure, government is purchasing raw material, Government is also purchasing various goods and services. You take an example of government department. For running and functioning of government department, government is also purchasing from different sectors of an economy. Then we have capital formation. If it is fixed, then you have to take change in stock separately. Now what is gross domestic capital formation? I will give you at the end what are the components also. But I hope this is clear to you how to reach GDP at MP because now after coming to this method, now it is very easy for you how to go to NNP at FC if GDP at MP is given. GDP at MP means a simple depreciation hataya, net ban gaya, NIT hataya, FC ban gaya, NFIA at kia, national ban gaya. So we have NNP at FC is nothing but national income. 
अगर डोमेस्टिक इनकम में रहना है वी ओनली डिडक्ट डेप्रिसिएशन एंड एन आई टी आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू आई गिव यू सम टिप्स रिलेटेड टू दिस मेथड दैट यू हैव टू कीप इन योर माइंड ऑल दो वी डिड इन द बिगिनिंग दैट प्रैक्टिस इन द फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्टरी सेशन अबाउट नेशनल इनकम अकाउंटिंग इफ इट इज जी डी पी एट एम पी दिस इज द फर्स्ट हेन्ड फॉर यू If you want to make it net, deduct depreciation. If you want to make net gross, add depreciation. Similarly, market में है we want we want to go to factor cost less NIT. अगर market से factory factory से market में जाना factor cost means factory. Factor cost means the cost which constitute of factor input. factor owners land labor capital entrepreneur that is your primary inputs so you will add nit so gross is net this is deduct depreciation market price factor cost it becomes net domestic product at factor cost it is domestic income ndp at fc is domestic income if i want to make this domestic into national i just said nfia this will become national we did this practice in the first introductory session of national income the same i am applying here also so this is one thing you have to keep in your mind while dealing with this production method oh, sorry expenditure method the last thing i want to give you because somewhere in numericals you have to have this confusion shape is given to you that how to deal with this particular component i told you gross domestic capital formation is a sum of gross domestic fixed capital formation plus change in stock this gross domestic capital formation is also known as gross investment or gross capital formation and for hint if you want to take ki kaise deal karna hai agar fix diya hua hai to you have to take change in stock if fix is not given it means it is gross domestic capital formation now what are the components of gross domestic capital formation it comprises of gross inventory investment gross public investment public means government investment construction of road dams buildings gross residential construction investment here construction doesn't mean ki aapne ek balcony ko extend kar diya ghar mein major construction which has increases the value of your house or flat or anything land and the last is gross business investment business fixed investment like purchase of raw purchase of machinery plant building fixtures so this is only the important thing in this method if you are very clear with this component you are able to do any type of numerical based on expenditure method i just recall you this method private final consumption expenditure government final consumption expenditure gross domestic fixed capital formation if it is fixed change in stock plus net exports this will give you the value of gdp at mp and when you deduct depreciation you will get ndp at mp if you deduct 
NIT, net indirect taxes, you will get NDP at FC. So, NDP at FC is your domestic income and when you add NFIA, it would be your national income that is NNP at FC. So, this is the third method of estimating national income and for numerical purpose, there is a question based on income and expenditure method simultaneously. We will discuss that also in a new session, how to deal with the numerical which is based on income and expenditure method. But for that, you have to be very, very clear about the income and expenditure method. Thank you. So, the second method of estimating national income is income method. Income Now, this method is again in the beginning I told you is very important because this talk about how the factor owners earn their income in lieu of their productive factor services. Now, again in this method also we have domestic income, national income, but this is from earning point of view, how we earn because of our productive factor services. Now, here I want to tell you in the beginning again before we switch over to table, the table means the easiest way of learning and understanding your things and then application based also. We have domestic income, domestic income is NDP at FC. So, this domestic income is sum of our economy is mixed economy. So, domestic income is sum of income from domestic product or NDP at FC accruing to private sector and same here income from domestic product or NDP at FC accruing to government sector. I hope I am clearer to you because our economy is a mixed economy. So, mixed economy we talk about the income generation from both the sectors. Here I want to say one more thing, this is known as government surplus. This is known as government surplus. It comprises of, you know government surplus, we have income from property. property and entrepreneurship accruing to government administrative department and savings of non-department. Now, what is Government administrative department, if you had been to airport, what is there on airport? Airport is only one, but different airline services are there and they pay in crores to airport authority of India for using their airport property. Then government is a very good entrepreneur. Indian Railways. So, Railway Department, we have income from property and entrepreneurship. 
then we have non departmental non departmental like we have lic so government surplus and private sector we have income from property and entrepreneur uh, income from domestic product that is ndp at fc accruing to private sector and government sector this will make our domestic income so this is what the domestic income is from private sector and from government sector now we will discuss the components of both private and government sector i hope it is clear to you so we switch over to the next part the same table part we have first government surplus now in private sector how do people earn people have rent they earn rent royalty then interest there are people who earn interest also a very good income then we have profit now here we talk about profit is divided into up ct and dividend again recall the beginning lesson introduction up is undistributed profit it is also known as savings of private corporate it is also known as reserves it is also known as flowing back of profit corporate tax that is your out of profit every corporate has to pay a direct tax then dividend shareholder income is known as dividend and up ct and dividend is your profit this we did all in the beginning of the introduction and rent interest profit is known as operating surplus then how people earn people will earn compensation of employee cash kind social security benefit and retirement pension then people have mixed income so this is what the domestic income this is your domestic income ndp at fc now in domestic income if i add nfia it becomes national income nnp at fc i hope this is clear to you domestic income and national income this is same as we did in the beginning that domestic plus nfi is your national income now here in this method we have two more things now we switch over to private sector private income this is overall private income i know you have this type of confusion in your mind that in the beginning sir has told us that our income is the sum of government surplus and income from domestic product accruing to private sector but this is overall private income overall means within the domestic territory and beyond the domestic territory so in private there is no role of government we have rent interest up ct dividend compensation mixed income nfia plus all current transfers now what are transfer payments transfer payments are those unilateral payments which are received without quid pro quo that is without rendering any productive services transfer payments scholarship donation national debt interest unemployment allowances scholarship these are all come under the transfer payment here i want to add one more thing there is a difference between domestic income national income and private income domestic and national income they only talk about earned income no unearned income whereas private 
and then we switch over to personal income. In personal income also, we talk about unearned income. Unearned income is transfer payment. Earned income is rent, interest, profit, compensation. Now, when we switch over to personal income, personal income comprises of, I hope I am visible to you, personally, personally means suppose I am, I am a person, I am a worker, I am an employee, what I receive, what I earn, may I, maybe I earn rent, interest, UP is reserved by company, UP is undistributed, not distributed, therefore it is not distributed and we are not calculating it. CT, it goes to government, dividend, compensation, mixed income, NFIA and all transfers. This is your personal income. Personal income means income of a particular household. So, this is what the complete picture of your income method. See, with this table, you are able to solve I am damn sure you are able to solve any type of numerical. I am also adding one more part which is left at the end because I am taking because this is full now. I am just going to uh, rub it. I hope it is clear to you. All of you have jotted down this. Now I am coming to, I will again repeat the same but this is the conclusion of this method, income method. If we discuss there are so many things, when we discuss numericals, then more things will come to your uh, conclusion means you are able to understand it. So, what we did in the beginning, we have domestic income, NDP at FC, domestic income, what we did, we have added NFIA, we got national income, NNP at FC, then we have deducted government surplus, please refer to your table, the previous table, government surplus and add all transfers, all current transfers, you have private income less UP CT because UP is reserved and CT is for government tax, we have personal income. This is the short snap of your whole table. Now, at the end, when you have personal income, personal income, what we do? We do pay direct taxes. We do pay personal direct taxes. We have many payment to government, so miscellaneous government receipt like your school, uh, college fee, your passport fee, your license fee. The remaining income is your disposable income, disposable income. Obviously, we have to have the tax if our income is high. If we are exempted, we need not to pay, but then also we have to pay some government receipts. This disposable income, this is tax free income, it is on my wish only what to do with this income, but majorly I will do personal consumption expenditure and I save also. So, personal consumption expenditure or you call it as a personal final consumption expenditure and savings. So, this is what the income method. We have started from domestic income and we have concluded with personal disposable income. I hope with this it is very clear to you. It is very easy for you to do any type of numerical if the table, if the concepts are clear to you.
घर बैठे पाए राष्ट्रीय मुक्त विद्यालय शिक्षा संस्थान यानी एन में एडमिशन वो भी एकदम आसान तरीके से जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को होगी समय और धन दोनों की बचत एन से शिक्षा कभी भी कहीं भी शिक्षार्थियों क्या आप जानते हैं एन में एडमिशन लेने का सरल और सुगम तरीका जिससे शिक्षार्थियों को ऑनलाइन प्रवेश देने में सहूलियत मिलती है एन में प्रवेश की प्रक्रिया पूर्णतया ऑनलाइन है शिक्षार्थी घर बैठे इंटरनेट द्वारा प्रवेश के लिए सबसे पहले एन की वेबसाइट www.nios.ac.in पर लॉगिन करें अपना ईमेल आईडी और पासवर्ड डालकर अपना पंजीकरण करें पंजीकरण के बाद लॉगिन करने पर ऑनलाइन प्रवेश हेतु आवेदन पत्र खुलेगा आवेदन पत्र को निर्देशानुसार भरें और प्रिंट आउट लें। इस प्रिंट आउट पर अपनी फोटो संलग्न करें ऑनलाइन प्रवेश के लिए शुल्क हेतु भुगतान के तरीके हैं क्रेडिट कार्ड के द्वारा डेबिट कार्ड के द्वारा राष्ट्रीकृत बैंक के ड्राफ्ट के माध्यम से, जो कि सचिव एन नई दिल्ली या नोएडा के पक्ष में दे हो भरे हुए आवेदन पत्र के साथ साथ डिमांड ड्राफ्ट और संलग्न किए जाने वाले दस्तावेज हैं जन्म रजिस्ट्रार के जिला कार्यालय से जारी जन्म प्रमाण पत्र की सत्यापित प्रति जिसमें जन्म तिथि अंकित हो पिछले विद्यालय से प्राप्त विद्यालय छोड़ने का प्रमाण पत्र जिसमें आवेदक की जन्म तिथि लिखी हो प्रवेश फॉर्म का प्रिंट आउट एन के संबद्ध क्षेत्र केंद्रों पर दस दिनों में पहुँच जाना चाहिए अन्यथा उचित दस्तावेज ना लगे होने पर आवेदन फॉर्म रद्द किया जा सकता है प्रवेश प्रक्रिया की पुष्टि होने के बाद शिक्षार्थियों को परिचय पत्र व अध्ययन सामग्री डाक द्वारा तुरंत पहुंचाई जाती है ऑनलाइन प्रवेश एक बहुत ही सुगम और सुविधाजनक प्रवेश प्रणाली है ऑनलाइन ऑन टाइम फॉर सेफ एंड सिक्योर एडमिशन हिंदुस्तान के हर कोने में नौजवानों के पास प्रतिभा है उन्हें अवसर चाहिए एन देता रहा है युवाओं को अवसर आगे बढ़ने का एन से पढ़ने वाले इन युवाओं ने किया है संस्थान को गौरवान्वित दिव्यांगों ने बन के दिखाया है सबल और आत्मनिर्भर एन के साथ आप भी जुड़िए एन के संग